Hey, howdy, hey, welcome back to All About the Disney Life. I am Danny B, the girl who's all about the Disney Life. We now move on to Pooh's Heffalump movie, which came out in 2005. So let's get to know this cast. Jim Cummings was Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. John Fiedler was Piglet. Peter Cullen was Eeyore. Ken Sanson was Rabbit. Kath Susie was Kanga. Nikita Hopkins was Rue. Kyle Stanger was Lumpy. And Brenda Blenth was Mama Heffalump. Now we move on to the facts all about Pooh's Heffalump movie. Number one, the production. The movie was originally intended as a direct-to-video release. Heffalumps were first mentioned in the original Winnie the Pooh books. They appeared in a night mare sequence along with their fellow scary creatures the woozles in the 1968 feature at winnie the pooh and the blustery day though heffalumps and woozles have appeared in other disney pooh media such as the new adventures of winnie the pooh tv series this was the first theatrical movie to feature a real life heffalump lumpy's design is similar to the heffalump seen in the 1968 featurette and the song horribly hazardous heffalumps is in the same style as the Heffalumps and Woozle song from the Blustery Day featurette. Carly Simon, the composer for the songs in this movie, she came up with Lumpy's full name. It's Heveridge Trumpler Brompet Heffalump the Fourth. This was also the final production of Walt Disney Animation Japan. Once the movie was completed, Disney closed the studio in June of 2004, eight months before the movie's release. Number two, the release in the box office. This movie was released into theaters on February 11th, 2005. The movie made $5.8 million in its opening weekend. The movie ended with a final gross of $18.1 million in North America and $34.8 million internationally, bringing the total worldwide gross to $52.9 million. Number three, a nomination. At the Young Artist Awards, this movie was nominated for Best Family Feature Film for Animation, but it lost to Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. That is a good movie. Side note. Number four, some things don't change. There are many callbacks to previous Winnie the Pooh movies. One of the traits Heffalumps were said to have is that they love to eat and steal honey. In this movie, Lumpy is seen taking some of Pooh's honey. Tigger has a family portrait consisting of him and his parents, despite it being confirmed he is the one and only Tigger in the woods. Rue calls catching a Heffalump an expedition, which is a word used in not just the Tigger movie, but in the original stories by A.A. A. Mill, more specifically the chapter An Expedition to the North Pole. Number five, during the credits. Lumpy is seen flying Piglet like he is a kite. This is a reference to the short Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day, where Piglet is flying through the air on a string like a kite. Lumpy appears stuck in a hole and the others are trying to pull him out, which is what happened to Pooh in Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. Unlike that short, they successfully pull Lumpy out of the hole. Number six, bonus facts. Christopher Robin makes a silent cameo in this movie. The movie completely ignores previous interactions with the Heffalumps in the TV series, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. There it has already been shown that Heffalumps are real creatures and not all of them are so scary. Owl and Gopher do not appear in this movie, nor are they mentioned, and I am sick and tired of hearing that we don't see or hear from Gopher ever again, so I'm not gonna... I'm stopping, because you know how I feel about this. This is the only theatrical Winnie the Pooh movie not to feature Owl. This was the last traditionally animated film to be released into theaters worldwide until The Princess and the Frog. And this was the last Disney Toon Studios theatrical film worldwide until Planes. Eeyore would have never gotten the grandfather clock through the fence, no matter how hard he tried. At first, Rabbit had the net, but after a while, Piglet somehow got the net. This is the second Winnie the Pooh movie not to feature a narrator. However, Pooh does fill in for the narrator at the beginning and the end of the movie. I think that was a real cute idea, have Pooh Bear tell his stories. The way Rue said, wow, at the end of the movie was recycled from the Tigger movie after Tigger demonstrated the whoop de duper loop de looper alley ooper bounce the second time in that movie. Despite the movie's title, Rue is actually the main protagonist of the movie, with Rabbit as the main antagonist of the movie, and Pooh reduced to the subtagonist in this movie. This is John Fiedler's final theatrical role of Piglet. While he returned to voice Piglet in Pooh's Heffalump Halloween movie, he died before the movie was released. Can you imagine, like, because John Fiedler played Piglet from 1960s until 2005. That's a long time. Like, I think he's... Out of the Winnie the Pooh franchise, he is the OG that stuck around for 
the rest of the future Winnie the Pooh projects to come. I mean, you had the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh TV series. We had the Book of Pooh. There's the Tigger movie, Piglet's big movie, Winnie the Pooh in a Springtime with Rue, and now Pooh's Heffalump movies, and many other Winnie the Pooh stuff that came before those movies. Like That's like a 40-decade career for a voice for a small little animal that we love very much. The rest of his scenes and the role of Piglet in general would be voiced by Travis Oates. And despite all the characters who had main roles in dialogue, this is the first and the only theatrical Winnie the Pooh feature film where Eeyore has a minor role with only three lines. And there you have it, all the facts to Pooh's Heffalump movie. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a zippity doo da day. Goodbye.